Let's take a look on how we can add or change employee direct deposit information in iSolve. This is very easy to do. First, just navigate to the left menu, click Employee Pay, and then Direct Deposit. Go ahead and choose which employee you'd like to make updates for. In this top box, we can see if there's any current direct deposit information, and then we can make necessary changes down below. To add a new account, click the Add New button, and then fill in the appropriate information. If there's going to be more than one bank account used, which we'll do in this scenario, we have to choose the proper sequencing. In this scenario, the employee would like $25 to go into their first account and then the remaining net in the second account. We'll add $25 under the amount box and click Save. We can then see it's added to the top box. We'll then go ahead and add the second account. Click Add New Account, fill in the appropriate information and click Save. Now we can see at the top that $25 will be going into that first account and the remaining net of the check will be put into this new second account. Now let's say the employee would like to split it up even more. We can always add another account. In this scenario, we'll choose two for the sequencing and we'll put $50 into this new account. Once we click save, in the top we can see the new order of sequencing for this direct deposit. If we want to make any changes to one of the accounts, just click the appropriate account, click that edit button, make any changes and click save. Finally, if we need to delete an account, we can click the account and hit the delete button. In this scenario, we can see that the sequencing will update to reflect a new order of deposit.